This is my second test of the version 1.1 firmware. After the last flight's poor results, I decided to reflash the firmware altogether. So I've powered up the model, I've checked that I've got a GPS lock, and I'm just about to use the keypad, keypad to do a reset model. And as you can see, the home distance goes to zero, so that's apparently worked. And we're about to get it up in the air. Once again, I'll be flying this model by line of sight rather than through the goggles, but I'm obviously recording it to um, the DVR anyway. So we're safely up and pretty well immediately. I realise that the plane needs a fair bit of trimming. It's um, rolling quite a bit, which isn't too bad. So I'll do a few circuits and uh, add a fair bit of trim to the uh, to the ailerons and uh, bring it down for landing so I can uh, reset the center servos on the OSD. So I'm leaving the uh, power connected to the model, I'm just entering the system menu and um, going to recenter the servos. So I don't press reset on the keyboard, as you can see the home distance stays the same. As I'm walking the plane out to the centre of the strip to take off, something pretty interesting happens to the uh, home distance. It suddenly goes from about 20 metres up to about 200 and because I'm not using the goals I don't notice and uh, just continue the launch. So once again the miracle happens and the plane gets up into the air. I just uh, get a little bit of altitude and check that it's flying uh, level before I uh, start testing. So I slip it into PA mode and I can immediately see that the plane's flying straight and level. It's a huge improvement on the other day, so I'm very happy with that. Looking at the video, you can see that both lock symbols are present on the altitude and heading, so uh, I've got to think this mode's working properly now. So next up is loiter mode. So I flip the switch and immediately notice that it goes into a turn. It seems to be circling fine, another huge improvement on the other day. It seems to be swinging further on the downwind side but other users have recorded that so I don't think it's a problem. And looking at the video afterwards, both of the lock symbols are there for heading and altitude so that's really good. And I also can see from the video that it's using bugger all current so it's um, obviously in control. So yeah, I'm happy that this mode's working correctly now too. So now I'm testing the return to home mode, I've switched it in and I'm expecting to see the plane turn back towards me but it doesn't so I'm thinking that this is a, uh, still a problem but once I review the video I form a different view. Given that the home coordinates are somehow 200 metres out of whack, if you watch the behaviour it's actually circling quite closely to where it thinks home is 
which seems to be about 200 metres north of where it actually is. So the behaviour of the plane is fine, so I think really the mode's working fine. I've just got to figure out why it uh, suddenly changed its home coordinates uh, when I moved it out to the middle of the strip. So now I slip it into autopilot and I'm immediately disappointed that the plane doesn't turn for where I think point A should be. Once again though, after reviewing the video and taking into account that these waypoints are relative to where the home point is, the behaviour of the autopilot actually seems to be fine. It's heading to each waypoint and turning within a reasonable distance of it, not like it was doing the other day. So. I just need to figure out why the home point has moved but the mode itself is behaving absolutely fine it's just about to hit point B and go on to point C so I think the uh, maximum change distance is set to 30 metres so I'm really quite happy with this I have to say the mode is working So I've got some battery left, so I decide to have another play with my new loiter toy. And uh, so I switch it into loiter mode, and uh, I'm pretty pleased to see it immediately turn and start doing the circuit. But uh, things suddenly start going wrong, and I'm a bit concerned that it's misbehaving again. It's not till I review the video that I realise that because of the incorrect home position that it's, uh, it's flown beyond its safe limit which is 500 minutes and gone and returned the home mode so looking at the video it behaves perfectly if you take that into, into um, consideration so again I'm pretty happy now I just once I find out why that uh, home error occurred So I'm pretty happy as I bring it down and uh, once we're on the deck I actually check out the headset and uh, that's when I realise that the uh, home setting appears out of whack. I've only landed about 10 metres from home and here we are 230 metres. As you can see the uh, home distance decreases as I move towards my base station so um, yeah, it's definitely strange. So why did it work this time? I don't know, I'm only guessing, but what I did differently was I took all of the previous firmware installers off my PC and cleaned the registry before installing 1.1 again. I took the Tornado out of the model and did the install on a flat table, which is different to what I'd done previously. And when I powered it up, I only got the one error. Uh, last time I had two or three errors, errors, errors three and errors four. So, um, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm only guessing, but that's what happened. So these are the current uh, system settings for the Tornado for this flight. So my best guess is that somehow when I was walking the model out to the middle of the strip the battery bumped against the keypad momentarily and partially reset the home space but that's all I can think of. I'm going to have another go tomorrow hopefully with the headset on and I'll be paying much more attention to what actually happens after I press that reset key. But Thanks for watching and for those of you who have offered help thank you very much.